a few nights ago, I was trying to catch capture the Horsehead Nebula uh, using my Explore Scientific uh, ED80, and I was using the Canon 90D uh, as my imaging camera. But for some reason, I could not, uh, I couldn't find it. You know what I mean? It's a pretty easy target to find. I was having trouble uh, finding it, and I also had a, a dual band, a narrow band filter on it, and I upped the ISO and did that, and uh, for some reason, I just couldn't capture it. So I changed the setup. What I did, I went to my Canon 90D, and I put a Canon 70 to 200 uh, millimeter lens on it, uh, F4L lens, and it actually came out uh, perfect. I captured the whole nebula. I actually got a uh, M42 and IC uh, 434. And uh, this is just a little short video, and I'll show you the outcome of it. Tonight I'm going after <clears throat> IC 434, the Horsehead Nebula. And I'm using my Canon 90D as my imaging camera, and I have a Canon 70 to 200. Uh, F4L lens on and I'm also auto guiding with the ZWO 120 SI camera and 30 millimeter uh, guide scope and right here if you can see I'm using my telephone so excuse the reflection right here if you can see I have the Horsehead Nebula and Orion in the same frame. That's the Horsehead Nebula over to the, about in the middle, uh, where the three bright stars are. It's at the uh, bottom of the third star, over towards the left. And that's the Orion uh, Nebula over to the right corner. I'm going to try to get about three hours in on this, three or four hours. Okay, clear skies. <clears throat> 